my name is Sarah Farrell and I'm an associate level clinical social worker with Seattle Christian Counseling and I'm here today to follow up a little on my article to talk to you a little bit about premarital counseling and why you could, should consider counseling before you get married. For a lot of people this is sort of a, a struggle this idea because the thought is things are going well we're getting married we're in love we'll figure things out as they come. That's great and it works well for some but there are some reasons why you may want to consider premarital counseling. First of all, if you're watching this still and you know the topic, I'm assuming congratulations are in order. So congratulations. You're making a huge step in your life, arguably one of the biggest. So let's talk a little bit about why it may be wise to take that step with some guidance. First of all, some couples tell me they don't want premarital counseling because there, there are just some natural deterrents. Time is one of them. Obviously you're busy, you're planning a wedding. It's a big deal. Even if you're eloping, most of us have busy lives. Throwing in a time and an hour and a place where you're both together at the same time can be a struggle. However, that's some good practice for coming date nights, which are gonna be pretty necessary. Another deterrent is the potential cost of premarital counseling. Not all avenues have a cost, um, so it's possible to remove that deterrent altogether, um, but there is a potential for that. The final thing is just that it just doesn't really seem necessary. Making the time to do it just doesn't really seem necessary right now. Let me tell you a little bit about why I think you should make the time. First of all, it's an investment in the future health of your marriage. Marriage is a big deal. It's difficult. It can be a lot of hard work. It's learning how to grow and learn and live with another person. That's a huge deal and not something most of us know how to do, especially in that uh, form, I suppose. So a lot of us struggle with that idea that it's just not really necessary. It is an investment. It's an investment in a long-term goal of having a healthy marriage. Um, there is also research that shows that people who get premarital counseling will have stronger marriages in the long run, which is, I don't know, that alone makes it seem kind of worth it, right? And then in addition to that, um, couples counseling can involve someone else that can help you understand potential pitfalls of a, um, that will likely show up in your marriage. It can also ease you into topics that can be difficult to discuss. Topics like uh, how many kids you're going to have, discipline in the future, sex. Lots of things are going to come up in your marriage that you want to have some ability to plan for. Premarital counseling can give you the option to go ahead and uh, decide how you're going to react to some of those situations in advance. And a couples counselor will know what's coming up and can ease that transition a little bit and begin those discussions a little bit earlier. Um, <clears throat> you know marriage is hard work. So who do you get to help you prepare if you do decide to get premarital counseling? There are a few different options here. Some people just talk to their parents. If you have parents who have been married for a long time um, or parents whose marriages didn't work out, they'll have some insight regarding what marriage is going to look like and what things you personally may struggle with. They do know you. That's one of the pros of working with parents and or pastors who have known you for a long time, they get you. They're gonna understand sort of where your potential pitfalls lie in marriage and things you may struggle with and also your strengths. That's a great benefit. Um, you may struggle more working with parents just because there is sort of an inherent bias a little bit. And they may take your side or they may take your spouses, who knows? Either way, there is bias. Um, the same can be true for working with pastors. Pastors are another great option for marital counseling. Um, if you are working with a pastor and they have the time and option, that's great. They have a lot of spiritual backgrounds. They've likely worked with a lot of couples. So there are some great benefits to that. Um, the main difficulty with sometimes working with pastors is if they know one of you significantly better than the other, that may be a struggle at times. Um, but likely they'll have a good background for working with you. There is also the component of time. A lot of pastors are busy, especially during peak wedding seasons. Um, your third option, and there may be more, but the third option I'm gonna discuss here is a professional counselor. Um, professional counselors are really trained to understand from an 
a structural perspective and an intersectional perspective, the things that you may struggle with in your marriage. Um, and the main deterrent in that situation is the cost. Of course, there is typically a cost working with a professional counselor. Arguably, no matter what you choose, there is major benefit to be gleaned from getting premarital counseling before you're married. So I'd argue it is worth the time and um, I hope you'll consider it.